At this point of the project, you can see here we made a considerable amount of effort in getting the floors laid down. A couple of things to notice here, you will see that we've gone quite a bit further with the felt paper and the flooring, of course, but I've also set up a staging area to the left there, right behind me, and what we've done here, we've put some moving blankets down, and then we've opened up a couple of boxes of hardwood flooring, and then arranged them by size on that staging area. You'll see that in a photo coming up here. And what that allows me to do is essentially lay out the flooring in single rows to get an idea of how they're going to be put into place. And then they'll all be there and then all I have to do is go right behind that and nail them all in. So we get an idea of what the patterning is going to look like. And then you can see also that you know we've got the various tools that I'm working with. Obviously the compressor and then the nailing uh, device there and then the hammer that's nailing those in there. So uh, it's going along quite well. I'm also wearing headphones or uh, earmuffs, whatever you want to call them, because the compressor is quite loud when it turns on and has to be replenished. And then the constant thumping of the nailer into the hardwood floors is quite loud also. So I'm just doing that to protect my hearing because I don't want to lose my hearing at all. So, but anyways, this is coming quite well and you'll see some more photos of that here shortly. Here's a view of me doing the same thing from the entranceway into the closet and master bathroom area. And if you look closely, what I'm doing here is I've got the hardwood floors in place but what I'm doing there is I'm hammering in a scrap piece of wood against the edge of the hardwood floors. So we lock them into place and there's no gap there. And then what I will do is come in behind that with the nailer and then nail them into place. You have to do that for every single board that goes in because you want a tight fit and you don't want any gaps in between the board. Here's a good overall view of the flooring really starting to take shape within the room. And then you can also see on the left hand side there we have our staging area where we have the moving blanket sitting there with the hardwood floors that we're getting ready to use on top of that. And of course that's just there to prevent the floors from getting scratched from any of the tools or other items that I'm using to complete the project. Here's another view from the end of the room and you can see the hardwood floors going into the hallway where the master closets are in the master bedroom and at this point we've actually completed the right side of the closet with the hardwood floors. You'll see that here coming up in the next series but uh, that's looking really good and then we went in to the edge of the tile floor that goes into the master bathroom and you'll see that coming up here also. But again, everything is really starting to take shape in the room. And you can see we've left that little strip of felt paper on the edge there. And then we'll just come up with another roll right next to that and staple that down and then continue on with our journey of putting the hardwood floors in. Here's a good view of the flooring going into the closet on the right hand side as you walk in to that area. You can see I've done the same thing here. I've removed the molding that was sitting there and we're just going up underneath that. We had to make some specialty cuts around the entrance into the doorways. So that's kind of unique. And then the other thing you'll notice here, there's a transition piece of hardwood flooring the opposite way or perpendicular to the normal hardwood flooring going into the bathroom there. And that's what I'm using as my transition piece into the bathroom. It's flush right there, and it just adds a little bit more character to what the flooring is going to look like uh, as we install it. And then lastly, you'll see that little piece of hardwood floor by itself on an island there. And that is the piece that I use to hammer the flooring into place into the tongue and grooves before we nail it down. It's just a scrap piece that came off an end piece uh, as we got closer to the wall. I usually keep two or three, three of those around inside the project area 
That way, if I'm one's across the room, I have one close to me as I need to use it. And here is just that final view from the doorway looking back towards the end of the room. And you can see that there's just a considerable amount of progress made on uh, the flooring and it's looking really nice. So we're going to continue on, but we are going to close this series out and continue to finish this up on the next series. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, peace out.